I accidentally discovered some of the most emotional evoking chords, and today I'm going to share a few of those with you. So in my never-ending journey of trying to find chords to write songs with, I went back to looking at something called drop two chords, and I discovered this chord. And it's just a wonderful chord for just making us feel something just with that one chord alone. So what does a drop two chord mean exactly? Well put simply, if we had for example a C major 7 chord, we have the notes C, E, G and B that make up that chord. We take the second to highest note and then we put that in the root position, in the bass position, and then you get this sound. <laughs> And that chord to me is just screaming out to tell a story just through that chord itself. And the wonderful thing about these drop two chords is we can go even more geekier. We can take our C major seven and then we can do the three possible inversions of just that chord alone. And we can use drop two variations of those chords. So we'll take a look at a few of those later on. Okay, so let's make this chord progression tell a story. So we're going to go from that C major seven drop two. I wanna introduce a minor chord here. I'm gonna put in a D minor seven sound. But I also want to make this a drop two chord as well, just to continue that theme. So in this case, we're going to do the drop two variation of that. We go in our D chord and we find that the A note is the second to highest and we drop that to the bass. Next, I'm going to throw in this B flat major seven sound. But of course, I'm also going to make this a drop chord as well. I absolutely love that chord shape, I'm not going to lie. I think it's my new favourite one now. Now lastly, we're going to complete this progression. Uh, we're going to use the A minor 7 chord, but this time we're going to go back to where I said you can do inversions and drop those inversions, and we're going to use this shape for the A minor 7. <laughs> Which, again, sounds really interesting. So let's go through the progression. Believe it or not, that last shape, that is actually a C major 7 chord. It's just we've put the notes in a different order. So I want to add a bonus way that we can use these drop two chord variations and I've been hinting to this throughout the video and that is because we have so many different inversions and so many drops that we can do of those inversions it's possible to make almost like a pseudo um, chord progression but actually we're just sticking on the same chord. So what we're going to do is look at all of the drop variations for an A minor 7 chord. <laughs> gives you this, you know, this feeling to a chord progression there because the bass note is changing each time, but we're actually just playing the same chord. So that's a wonderful trick that you could potentially use in a song. So if you'd like to know where the rest of these drop two chord shapes are across the neck, you know, starting from different strings, then there's a lovely uh, chart that I've put together that's available to patrons. And there's a link for that down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you don't want to miss more content like this in the future, make sure you subscribe. I wanna say thank you very much for watching today. Thank you for the patrons that are supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.